Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a top 5 video which is where I explain why I like uh, p 5 particular games. For number 1, I've picked Horizon Into the Forbidden West. So I like Horizon Into the Forbidden West because I find it enjoyable. It's very adventurous for me to do stuff on. I can kill machines and it's very tactical. It's got a nice long story. You can override the machines to make them like you and to attack other hostile machines, which is um, a good feature to add, I think. What is a bit extreme though is the price because I've found because I've seen it around at the moment and it's about 60 to 70 pounds, which I think is quite a lot. But overall, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. Number 2, Roblox. I like Roblox because it's like a platform where you can play games on it. And it is very popular. I find a lot of people playing games on there. Like... Ten, a couple ten thousand people playing on just one game. What? And you can play these games as much as you like. And most of it is very fun. You can even create games. And it's free to install. On the avatar setting, you can set your skin to whatever you like to and to look however you like. But some of it does cost Robux. Which is the... Roblox currency they use. You can friend other people on it, like people you don't know, which I do not recommend, but you can also friend people you know. And it's worth, it used to be worth 3.9 billion, but it's now worth 17 billion. What did he say? <laughs> and it's entertaining. Uh, you can play it on mobile, PC. VR and iPad. Number three, Minecraft. I like Minecraft because you can go in a mode called creative, which is where you can get loads of blocks from to make stuff like castles and little mini games for your friends to play. You can join them online, you can play with other people. And what I don't like about it is that you have to pay to get this um, money thing, money currency that, that they use, which I don't know what it's called, but you have to pay money, which I think is really annoying. But then they've got other difficulties as well, like survival, which means you can't do what you can in creative, such as fly. Um, but you can break other blocks, it just takes you a little bit longer. It's fun and you can make parkours as well. And that's it really. I'd rate it about a solid 7.5 out of 10. Number 4, Beat Saber. Beat Saber it can only be played on VR, so virtual reality headset. They've got very good songs, they've got songs by Imagine Dragons, Billie Eilish, etc. You can play multiplayer with other people and try and beat them. There is a campaign mode which allows you to play levels to unlock new harder levels. Every now and again there will be an update of songs coming out. And one of my personally favourite songs which came out recently is Firebreaker. 8 out of 10. Number 5. Shell Shockers. I like Shell Shockers because it's got four game modes which are Team Capture the Spatula, King of the Coop, and something else I can't remember. So, Team is when you go a few people against a few other people, of course. Capture the Spatula is one of them, like Capture the Flag, but it's not, it's a bit different. You have to try and get the spatula and hold it for longer than your other team. And King of the Coop it is one of them you can explore, but I don't know what, which one that is. 
every now and again you'll get free eggs which is really good you can customize your skin and your gun skin so multiple different guns like shotguns smgs rocket launchers and lots of others and you can also throw grenades that you find around the map you can hold up to three and you can also make an account on there so that you don't lose all your progress which i think is a really good feature to add and i'll rate shell shockers a 6.5 out of 10 because it's it could add uh, features to make it look nicer and have quicker rounds all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye